ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event, and it's for the amateur welterweight title. This fight will be contested over five three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist has a record six wins, two defeats. He represents the Aspire Combat Sports Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Rutherford! And the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This young mixed martial artist has an undefeated record. Four wins, no losses. He represents IPC Wrexham. Ladies and gentlemen, Kieran Edwards! Our referee is Mr. Nico Joker. Final amateur title fight of the night. This time it's the welterweights in the blue corner. Jordan Rutherford. Yellow short trim with black. And in the red corner, Kieran Edwards fighting out of IPC in the all black shorts. And uh, Rutherford, you know, a long guy and he's trying to set out his stall with that, snapping the front kicks out, keeping his range, keeping his distance. Again, Rutherford seems uh, a big welterweight. Okay. Happy controlling the center of the cage, working at range at the moment. Yeah, it's exactly what he's got to do, you know, and stick out that front kick as threats for uh, your opponent coming in, so he's got to second guess his entries. You can see Edwards trying to faint and yeah. get a reaction there. But Rutherford's not buying any of them just yet. Showing him the jab, showing him the knee, showing him the snap kicks. And just when I think that Edwards is starting to back Rutherford up, that's when Rutherford comes forward a little bit. Dab into the body there, he's Rutherford working well. And you can see starting to already having an impact. Yeah, Kieran Edwards there. Backs him up close to the distance, but couldn't get in, couldn't get inside. There we go. Yeah, showed Heads. him the fence up top, and then got in onto the hips, Did Edwards. Good takedown defense though. Yeah, good wizard looking to trap the free arm with his left arm for with his wizard arm too. Yeah. Both fighting for head position there. Rutherford initially looked to be uh, looked to be switching maybe to look for a guillotine, but Edwards keeping up the pressure, driving forward. Yeah. I'd Hasn't got his inroad yet, but he's staying on, staying on the position. Maybe working for a leg for a trip and taking his time to try and uh, see what takedown opportunities might be there. Again, we've got five three minute rounds to work. We haven't hit the canvas yet in this one. Yeah, he did a good job there. Stayed patient and managed to get his back up the fence. Let's see if he disengages from there. Happy to hold that position. Yeah, and land threw a couple of knees. Yeah. Edwards, like being short and already have the un having the underhook. I mean, he's really stopping Rutherford from being able to get underneath him, but breaks Ooh. the shoot instead. Oh. Ten seconds left to go. Side control. Man, the welterweights move pretty good as well, don't they? Holy moly. Absolutely, and uh, you know, Rutherford controlled the distance at the start of the round, did a great job with his jab and his feints and his uh, front kicks, keeping Edwards off. Edwards, you know, just managed to get enough of a reaction to get in and force the clinch. For the most part, couldn't get anything off of it, but right at the end there, just managed to get the, uh, the inroad he needed. Yeah, close first round. Yeah, got to give him confidence going into the second that there is a route there. At least, it appears that there's a route there. Again, potential five three-minute rounds here in this amateur welterweight title bout. 
think we've been spoiled a little bit today. Yeah, we've been all sorts. Tell you what, good to see uh, that man back in the corner, in the Aspire corner. Yes, absolutely. Not even a bus can stop him. <laughs> Machine. Just a quick inside low kick. Edwards. I think he's saying he's ready to go. Yeah. Just gives him a little shake for luck. It's a very uh, definite strategy for Rumford. Yeah. Making the most of his long limbs. As I say that, there he goes in and closes the distance and tries to go on the offense on the fence this time. Yeah, no, but I think that was plan B because I think he was trying to land a big shot, came in too close. But that plays a little bit in Edwards' hand. Like Edwards wants to keep his hands on him, I would think. Yeah, he, I mean, he, he's managed to get there a lot earlier in round two, but I think he realized it's tough when you've got a guy who actually uses his length well in the yeah. first round to, uh, to get inside the distance. Nice knee to the midsection again. Yeah, Edwards manages to turn Rutherford now. Yeah, almost had his connection, but Rutherford never gave that up. He could have accepted going down, but just slid the elbows up and managed to get Edwards back above his hips. And we're exchanging elbows, exchanging knees, sorry, in the clinch. And just uh, maybe one knee too many there yep. as that allowed Edwards to take Rutherford down. And a lovely trip. Yeah, ends up right in the half guard. And half guard right up against the cage again. Good enough for Randy, good enough for anybody. Locked down, pound away. Absolutely, and about half of the round left to go. He's focusing on keeping the leg in. He's triangling his uh, legs over the top. Yeah. So Rutherford freeing his bottom leg to build back up. Now looking to try and progress to mount, and I think does. Now on to the back. Oh, puts the choke in. No hooks. Oh, one hook, sorry. Two hooks. And the right arm's in a good position, and he switches to the left arm. The chin's in, but that doesn't mean they're in a the finish, especially when these guys are sweaty. They slide under the chin quite easily from there. There's 35 seconds left, roughly. It's going to have to hand fight like mad as Rutherford. Edwards using the shots to maybe just try and open up the neck. There goes the left arm under. Oh, and I oh. think he thinks he's got it. It's definitely under the chin, but great work from Rutherford to just change that angle yep. and freeze head. 15 seconds left to work in the round. And Edwards, I think, will be disappointed now if Rutherford manages to see out the end of the round. But again, we've seen the progression of the grappling hand. We hit the end of the first. Edwards gets the takedown. Now he's had more time to work. But Rutherford is going to see out and survives. He's going to be able to turn into him. Nah, just going to see out the round. A couple of shots from Rutherford there. But, yeah, I mean, that looked close a couple of times. But yes. a testament to Rutherford there for always continuing to fight in the defense. But a great round overall for uh, Kieran Edwards. Yeah, definitely, I think, an Edwards round, that one. <laughs> Pointing over to the red corner saying, look at him, he's, I won't use the language used, but I think they're intimating that they think Kieran Edwards might be tired. Can Canadians speak, Scouse? We, we pick up a little bit. We, don't, we, we understand more than we speak. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, you know, Edwards has got to be motivated after that round. They, they got to grips earlier in the round than he managed in the first round. And once he got on the ground, he, he was dominant there, got to the back, and I think he'll, uh, he'll be kicking himself out a couple of those choke opportunities. Didn't get the finish, but, you know, credit to Rutherford for his defense as well. Well, we're in the middle round here. Three of a potential five. Gosh, Edwards can't wait to get into the into the mix-up. Has to get backed up a little bit. Here we go. And 
Okay, shoots early this time. Yeah, maybe, maybe just a little too obvious with that. Nice knee to the body. Yeah, good knee to Riverford. And another. And just immediately, you know, fires back and changes the intensity on uh, Edwards. Didn't accept being pushed back to the fence. Nope. Almost just sort of dragged himself off it. Now underneath the hips. Deposits Edwards to the mat. Nice. Oh, I thought Edwards was going to be able to find a way up, but Rutherford staying with him. He is, and he gets out to the back. Has he got that left arm trapped? No, he hasn't, but good shots coming in. Hooks the leg to try and slow Edwards' uh, build back up. Is he going to try and step over? I'm going to drag his man down first. I'm just waiting for Edwards to kind of explode with a switch, but... Oh, nice shot under the armpit there for Rutherford. Just tailing Edwards every time he tries to escape, but... Tries to hit that switch, might get on top from there, Edwards, and he does. Yeah, and he does. And now, on to the back again. Good work from Rutherford, gets himself to the cage, but... Relentless with the takedown. See Rutherford keeping the guard open, so he's got the chance to uh, use his knees and build back up, push off the fence. Close guard is like almost accepting that you. Yeah, here I am going to stay ball. here. Yeah. But there he goes, pulls the knee back up. Onto the back now. The Rutherford turns into him. Oh, chipping away a couple knees to oh. the body and another one. Now on. Or it's just give and take. Whatever you do to me, I'm going to do to you. Yeah, nice ball might be setting up. I thought we were going to set up a head and arm there, but instead it goes out to the back. There's Rutherford and London. Much stronger round, this one. Edwards got his back to the cage, looking to try and post up. But Rutherford just. Oh, a lovely little scramble there. Edwards does well to improve that position. Yeah, he looked like he was taking some big deep breaths and he could have accepted being sat down, but no. Straight back into a takedown, attempt of his own, gets back up. Doesn't get the takedown, but putting the pressure back on. So many twists and turns in this one. Oh, it's unreal. And another one going into the championship rounds. And again, another one that's just completely no respite in the fight. Yeah. Both guys working hard from every position. Yeah, I gotta be honest, you, you really don't mind if fights are going long when they're competitive and hard. And that's what we've had with all of these title fights so far. With the, the exception of our bantamweight title fight. Yeah, neither, neither guy looking for a rest in any position. They could be underneath, and they're still looking to work and get back up, and immediately trying to turn the tables. Taking some deep breaths over there in the red corner is Edwards. Yeah, and, you know, championship rounds, this is what's going to separate them. I think I'm leaning on uh, maybe 2-1 to Rutherford as it stands, but this is a close fight. Well, cage doors closed. The seconds have cleared. It's just a bit of a bandage sticking out of the glove. These guys have to for an extra 10 seconds of breather. All right, here we go. Nice out, and it's Rutherford driving forward, yeah. wants to close the distance. I think his corner have convinced him that uh, He's the fresher man. Yeah. That he, Edwards is more tired than he is, so straight into his face. Yeah, and then starting to apply just relentless pressure. Ooh, right, steps over, lovely. The hook, looking for that inside wrist control and gets it. Oh, it's a great position for Rutherford. And just looking to keep Edwards down, dragging the weight on him. 
making him bear the weight, especially when you're tired. He's going to get out to the back control. Almost a bit high with his hips. Yep. A good job. Just getting a good control and not getting overzealous and losing the position. Be nice to see him start to land some punches from there. Yeah, there I'd goes. like to see him force him into the cage and throw some knees to the body. But, but he's managed to sneak around the back now. Yeah, looking to try and thread that right arm through as well. Good work, just riding Edwards, making him tired, making him carry all the weight. Tries to oh, a lovely goal. little spin out. Work, but Great sprawl out again, though. And Rutherford ends up on top. Yeah, landing some shots now as well. And Edwards was almost like he was saving that burst and, you know, to, well, then hit the burst and not get your uh, reward for it. He's it's quite tough. That Camaro Cam lock. Yeah, he's got the grip. Freed the arm out. Oh, a heavy foot stomp from Rutherford. Oh! He almost freed it past the hip, but oh, he has freed he it has. past the hip now. But Rutherford oh. is slipping out and into the mount. And, and now chasing the, the rear naked, no. Nope. Out to the back, single hook in. Oh, big, big hammer fist to the ear. Trying to get that second hook in, but Edwards just won't let it happen at the well, moment. Edwards looking to, to turn into him. Credit to Edwards there, uh, not accepting a bad position. He's nope. clearly very tired, but it's not going down without a fight. Big Chipping right hands. away. But Rutherford again gets that base. Nice knee to the body. 20 seconds or so left in this one. Edwards is chasing that single leg, but Rutherford just not letting him. Yeah, this is a strong place to finish the round. Yeah, controlling the ankle onto the back. A few seconds left in this one. A good way to finish the round. Three minutes, that's what we got. Uh, I think, uh, especially on to strength for that round, Rutherford's coming into the fifth round. The guy closest to uh, getting that title around yeah. his waist at the end. It's going to have to be a monumental effort, I think, from Edwards to um, to do something in the fight in the fifth round to try and win the fight. I've got Rutherford unofficially, probably 3-1 and looking stronger. Yeah, Edwards certainly, but again, what you see in the corner is not necessarily what you get in the in the round. Certainly looks like the pace is worn on him a little bit more than Jordan Rutherford. And the corner's drilling that into Rutherford as well. But no quitting Edwards at all. Every time he got put in a bad spot in that fourth round, you know, he could he have way out. it go, but no, sitting out, exploding, yep. finding them last reserves of energy. Still here and he still wants to win the belt. Right, here it is. Final round in our co-main event. This amateur welterweight title bout. Jordan Rutherford, the blue corner, the Aspire man, the yellow shorts. Karen Edwards, the IPC Rex man in the black with red. Edwards and it's trying to take the impetus in the, uh, in the final round. And he does top. so, and I mean, it's fantastic to see. Me, I think it, it won't be enough to win a round, though. I don't think at this point, I think he's got to try and, you know, really open up and go for a finish. We saw what Abbott, he's got, he had great passing and good back control. I think that was the second round. You know, so he's got the skills to do it. But has he got the gas left in the tank to make it happen? Seems like he's, uh, you know, tying up and holding on, but. Good. Yeah, Rutherford not accepting that, but good job on Edwards to pull the hips back out. And it's so tough when you get into this stage of a fight and you're already tired and the yeah. guy's like relentlessly trying to wrestle back up. And you think, I oh, wish you'd just lie there and let me hold yeah, it. Just, just let, me, let me take position okay. for a minute, please. Chipping away there though is Edwards. They look like could be yeah, some big shots. Shot. Well, that's always the uh, the thing that the more you throw the shots, the more you open up, the more the guy has potential room to move. It's they're the things you've got to weigh up. Got that underhook on the left side. 
Halfway through the final round. It's Edwards been doing most of the work, oh. but now as I say that, Rutherford gets out to the back. And with a half around the work. This really is gonna come down to just, who wants it that little bit more? Pulling him onto the bottom hook, or was. Rutherford staying sticky, landing some good shots. Yeah, staying, staying sticky to Edwards. Making Edwards carry all that weight. Edwards looks to turn into him. Edwards still going, still yeah. moving, still trying to sit out. But without maybe that little bit less explosion than earlier in the fight, which is allowing Rutherford to maintain his top position. 30 seconds in, left in the fight. Yeah, and you want to put a stamp on it for the last 15 seconds, leave no doubt in the mind of the judges and the people watching. Yeah, I think mean, he's going to get to the mount to finish. 15 seconds left. Out to the back. Edwards still trying his best to escape, but Rutherford staying sticky. Yeah, good, good way to end the fight. Good way to end the round for the Aspire prospect. Wow. Yeah, and I think I'm tired fight. watching. Woo. Great fight. I think uh, a little bit more clear who the winner might be on this decision, but you never know. You never but know. Great fight. Both guys never stop fighting for five rounds. Ooh, we're going to crown a new champion. Absolutely. Let's make it official. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, after five hard fought rounds, we're going to the judges' scorecard for a decision. We have a unanimous decision for your winner and your new UK Fighting Championships amateur welterweight champion in the blue corner, Jordan Rutherford. And ladies and gentlemen, please, a huge round of applause from Kieran Edwards.